What's up, family? Planned Parenthood Chief Cecile Richards is under attack. This after she posted a Mother's Day tweet in which she bashed Donald Trump for his attempt to repeal and replace Obamacare. This is what she said. Nothing says I love you, Mom, like standing up for the rights of mothers everywhere to get the care they need. She went on to say the fact that mothers reproduce will now be our economic burden. Under the health care plan, being a woman will once again be a pre-existing condition in America. That's cold-blooded right there. Uh, needless to say, the outlook for any woman hoping to avoid unintended pregnancy for the next four years is pretty bleak, she wrote. Now, here's the deal, y'all. Given the fact that Cecile Richards is employed by the number one organization that prevents women from coming, becoming mothers in the first place, kind of rub people the wrong way. So they came at her pretty strong on Twitter. I'm going to let you guys read the tweets, leave your comments, and I'll come back with mine. That was brutal. Here's my thing. I don't trust the pro-lifers any more than I trust the pro-choices. And here's why. Their convictions are always convenient to their agenda. And here's what I mean. When it comes to pro-choice, these people are silent when it comes to the police brutalizing and gunning down innocent black people and other people of color. But they will lose their rabbit minds if a dentist goes to Africa and hunts an endangered animal. They lose their minds. Even when somebody does something to a dog. God forbid you violate the civil rights of a dog. Man, they're ready to change the Constitution. By the same token, pro life, these people love to scream how every life is important. Every child should have a chance at life. Every child, every child is. Innocent, killing innocent children. But once these children come into the world, especially when they're black, they don't give a damn about the children. As witnessed by all of these cop killings of innocent black children, they could care less. They're even hypocritical when you start talking about the death penalty is like whatever fits their agenda is what they push. Now, these uh, pro-life people, they're going to have to change their name if they're going to keep up this same old rhetoric, if they're going to just keep rolling with the same thing. They're going to have to change the name. They can't call it pro-life if you're not pro-life 
for all life. You dig what I'm saying? You got to be pro-life. You got to stick to the code all the time. Because here are the things. They got an excuse for everything. If you say a fetus is only the size of a bean during or at the time of most abortions, they'll tell you, well, all kids' life matter. Um, all of their lives matter. Doesn't matter how small. You, you tell them, well, well, why aren't you protesting at City Hall about the lack of support for raising children? They'll tell you, well, the government didn't have the kids. It's not their responsibility. If you say, well, what about the black kids that are being killed and the other kids of color that are being killed by the police? Well, the police is just defending themselves. If you tell them, well, well what about kids who become pregnant, uh, especially when they're raped or they're forced by incest? And then they'll tell you, well, that's because the schools are teaching sex and not abstinence. If you ask them about disabilities, you say, well, what about people with disabilities? What about people with disabilities who want to have children? Well, that's just irresponsible. They got an excuse for everything, which leads me to believe that they really don't give a damn about people's lives. They really don't care about kids' lives unless those kids are white, well off, and share their views and opinions. That's the only time they care. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Thanks.